Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com. In this quick Go High Level tutorial, I want to show you how you can add in two different colors into different heading elements as well as text elements inside of Go High Level. Now, the reason I am doing this is I've just created dozens of funnel templates that I'm giving away inside of a marketer's pack to all referrals of Go High Level that join through my link. And I'm also giving it to everyone who decides to join my brand new white labeled SaaS version of Go High High level which is also under the funnel scene brand i'll leave some information about all of that down below so you can go ahead and check it out now first of all i was creating this specific template here as you can see i've got some unbold text and then i've got some bold text and then it goes back to unbold text now at the moment this is the only way that you can actually change the different colors inside of go high level right because you need to go ahead and specify which particular um, styling that you want to have different colors for but you can't have say two different types of bold coloring inside of it it just doesn't work there's no settings for it and interestingly i posted in multiple different go high level groups and there was only one person that could semi explain to me how it was done i just got spammed with a bunch of other people trying to sell me services so what i decided to do was figure it out myself and i have and that's why i'm shooting this video for you today so let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial so first of all, what you want to do is come into the editor page. And as you can see here, once we click on the text module, here is our different types of coloring that we can add into the um, into the text module. Now, this is a heading module. It works with all modules, I believe. So for this example, what I'm going to be doing is first of all, I'm going to change all of the text to black, right? And then I'm also going to bold all of the text. Now, instead of just highlighting the different text and trying to change the color there, because if you try to change the bold coloring right now, it's going to change the entire lot, except for that one as it's underlined. And we don't really want to underline everything just to get the coloring. So what I'm going to do is just leave everything in one of the blacks. And then I'm going to come across and let's just say here, I'm going to highlight easiest way to convert. What I'm going to do is actually make that into italics. Now, the reason for this is we're going to go ahead and customize that italics bit of text using CSS. And the good thing about it is you can use it for multiple types of text inside of it. We'll just do two just to give you an idea. I'll also do visitors, right? So I'll just do italics there as well. So now we have that. Let's go ahead and click save. Okay, so I'll just save it here. And then I'll go ahead and preview it and show you what it now looks like. So now that is saved, go and click on preview and it is going to open your page. And what you want to do is come right click on your mouse or double click or whatever it is to get this panel here and click on inspect. Or you can come to the top of your page, come to view developer and go inspect elements. It brings up the same panel. Now, if your panel is on the right, if it's the first time you've used it, just click on these three little dots, which is going to be at the top of your screen. And then you can just set it to the bottom. So it leaves this dock at the bottom. I just find it a little bit easier. So once we've done that, what you want to do is come to the left and there is a select element button. What you want to do is click on that so it's now blue. Come to your italic text like so and you should see when you hover over it, it has at the top EM, you can see in the pink. Click on that and now on the right you will see this heading hyphen and then it will have your unique heading and EM. Then you'll notice below that it's got color. So what I'm going to do is change this to the color that I want. So let's just say I want red. I'm going to go over to red and there you have it. It looks red. So it's pretty cool how it's done that, right? So go ahead, choose your color. My head's in the way a little bit. I'll just bring it over. But you can also click on the different types if you've got a specific hex that you're using. So you can go ahead and choose that there. But that's as easy it is as it is. But what we have done now is got the red text. But the problem is it's still italic. So what we need to do now is press on the end of this here and it should open a new line. And what you want to do is type in font and then style like so. Press enter. And then you will see there is a few different options below. My face is covering quite a few, but if you just press down, it'll go through all of them. And as you can see, there is normal. And if I click on normal, you'll notice the text on the page is now normal. So it is no longer italic and we have got the color we want. So all we need to do right now is just copy this bit of code, right? So just literally copy it, copy it as it is. Right click and press copy, okay, like so. Come back to your page. Now go on settings and then go to custom CSS and paste it in there, okay? 
and that's it we can go ahead click yes save now the cool part about this is this entire string right here is now connected to it so if i no longer wanted visitors to be read i could just hover over visitors and unitalic it so now it isn't read if we wanted to say take take out easiest the same thing here and maybe when we wanted to use using then we can go ahead and choose it there and i know you can't see it unfortunately that's the only downside but it is so much more simple than all these other coders are trying to make it so i'll go ahead and click on save and click on preview once again to show you what it looks like okay so that's just saved and if we look at preview boom everything looks the way it's supposed to so that's how you add in two colors to your different uh, headings, things like that. And once again, if you wanted to change the uh, surrounding text, you just choose the text module again and then change the regular bold text. Let's just say, for the sake of this tutorial, I wanted to make it blue or I'll make it green so it's, so it's quite different. Click on save just to show you what it actually looks like. Once again, click on preview and boom, we have got multiple colors inside of it. So hopefully that has helped. Um, it was a bit of a head scratch to start with, you know, a lot of other platforms have the ability for this. This is one of the downfalls. However, it is a very quick workaround. All you need to do is add in that quick line of code and then choose the coloring that you want and then it is done. So hopefully this has helped. If it has, guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up button so I know you've seen it and I know you appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got dozens and dozens of Go High Level training that no one's really talking about coming out in the next few months. So make sure you check that out. It's going to help you increase your web presence and everything else. Okay, that's it from me, guys. Once again, if you haven't checked out funnelscene.com just yet, go ahead and check it out. My white labeled version software is just about to launch, so you can join the launch list if you want to get on that. Lots of good deals, discounts, bonuses, everything like that in the mix, so you definitely want to check that out. That's it from me. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.